On a surface weather map, why do the winds cross the isobars? In order to answer this question, we first need to know the behaviors of wind aloft. Wind aloft is any measurement higher than 900 MB where there is no presence of friction. We can see in the chart there is pressure gradient force, known as PGF, Coriolis force, known as CF, and actual wind direction. We place up our cell of air at position 1 and it will try to blow northward, but the Coriolis force will immediately pick up and curve the air to its right. As the wind picks up speed at positions 2, 3, and 4, the Coriolis force increases in strength to the point where at position 5, the PGF and CF are equal and in balance, producing a net acceleration of 0, and as, as a result, the, the wind will blow parallel to the isobars at a constant speed. On the surface, however, there is a presence of friction which will slow down wind speed. Since Coriolis force is directly correlated with wind speed, a slower wind speed will equal a smaller Coriolis force. Pressure gradient force is now balanced by the sum of friction and Coriolis force, and there will no longer be a balance as a result, with pressure gradient force being the greater influence, and the air will cross isobars to the area of low pressure. The air will, will travel from high to low pressure in, by way of agiostrophic methods through either cyclonic or anticyclonic motions.